What I've learned from this city is that you reap what you sow. Let's hope so. My inspiration was Chicago. My inspiration was the city because it, it, it's so rich in narrative. You know, corruption, race, economics, you know, religion even. You know, how it came about. They, they came about because they were gangs. They were the guys who ran that part of town. You think of Michael Corleone and him wanting to sort of legitimize his family, crime family, into politics. Right. Same as Jamal, the character in our picture, and also how a lot of, you know, esteemed families in the United States have sort of done that through criminality, bootlegging and whatnot. So this is nothing, nothing new. And it's also that epicness was very much in, in my idea of, of having to sort of, how do you sort of grasp the narrative of the city? We started by doing lots of research about Chicago and, and the politics and crime here and uh, socioeconomic conditions. And I think from that just filtered it through the sort of genius of Linda LaPlante's original show. I think it's impossible to do this movie and not make statements about race and class. I think it pulses and courses through every relationship relationship even if people are not aware of it it's it's how relationships are seen it's how women are seen it's how neighborhoods are seen you can trail a fine line when you're showcasing a city showcasing the underbelly of that city showcasing the human emotion showcasing like what an individual will do when they're left with nothing mm -hmm. like how far we go what do you uphold what do you care about as an actor you yearn for that i think i think that that's something that we all want to sink our teeth into